Hello and welcome to today's video from mid-October in Sammamish, Washington, 2021. Uh, those dates and times and places are important because they affect this video in particular because it's all about looking for leaves. So in this video, what I'm going to do is uh, have you accompany me as I'm talking now uh, on a walk around my condo neighborhood in Sammamish, Washington in mid-October. Uh, I did this for a couple reasons. One, it's, it's an easy way to show and share uh, some simple ways to create photos as the seasons change. You don't have to go out and find a massive grove of amazing trees with colors of all different kinds. Uh, you can do this and celebrate fall and autumn close to home with your camera. Uh, I did this and kind of was inspired by this as I was out walking my son's dog and noticing all the leaves on the ground and some hanging from the trees and uh, all the colors and textures there. So another thought I had as I was preparing for this video was thinking about as the seasons change, our focus, pardon the pun, uh, in as photographers might or needs to change as well. So for example, in summer, we often associate that with amazing sunsets and locations and travel. Uh, as the seasons change to fall and winter, um, oftentimes those aren't as available or they're not the same. Um, so we need to look maybe uh, differently for photo opportunities and look in different places to celebrate the moods of the season. So for example, around here in uh, fall, winter, early spring, if there's a lot of rain, lots of clouds, uh, it's, it's darker, it's moodier, it's quiet. So how can uh, I go out and create photos that celebrate that, uh, showcase that, and give me a chance to be creative? So that's what this little walk around the neighborhood is all about. Um, I did it on a Saturday morning, uh, relatively early. There had been some rain. So the advantage of the rain is you get the benefit of water drops on your leaves and texture benefits there and other uh, elements of the photo you can use from the water. Um, and it was just drizzling just a little bit as I was uh, out creating these photos. So the the walk was also good for me emotionally, for want of a better phrase. Uh, as these seasons turn sometime and some other stuff going on in my life right now, uh, getting out and moving is super help helpful. Uh, the other thing that's helpful is to get out and create. So uh, it's a two for one, uh, walking, which is good movement, and uh, taking my camera with to create something. And speaking of my camera, I kept it super simple. I took my X-T3 and one lens. That's a zoom lens, the 16 to 80 millimeter um, F4. And then uh, the other thing I knew I wanted to take with me was my secret weapon for creating photos with lots and lots of texture, and that is extension tubes. Uh, I have a video all about extension tubes. I'll link to that here and why I love them. I think this is the best value in photography. Um, these let me turn this 16 to 80 into not quite a macro lens, but they let me turn it into a really close focus lens so I can get close to my subject, get really great detail, and do all that cool stuff that fall is all about. So one of the things I noticed while I was out walking is that first 10 or 15 minutes I was looking for photos, I felt kind of rushed. Uh, I was, I had an objective in mind. Uh, I wanted to be specific and had an output, this video in mind. And then uh, eventually I slowed down. Those first few photos I created, you're not gonna see any of those. <laughs> so uh, as I got in the groove, got in the rhythm of looking for photos, slowing down, uh, pacing myself, uh, I started to relax, started to find the photos started to see them differently, uh, especially as I moved to parts of the neighborhood I don't, uh, or the, the little loop I walk that I don't walk very often, so had fresh eyes on stuff. So highly recommend. Make sure you take enough time when you go out and create photos to get through that initial rush of where you're rushing, and then so you can get to the rush of creating. Uh, another fun uh, thing I discovered as I was out creating these photos is uh, where I had parked my car overnight, a bunch of leaves had fallen on the car. So I spent uh, 15, 20 minutes walking around my car looking for photos. And uh, I'm going to share some of those with you in a few minutes. Um, additionally, all the photos, well, not all the photos, the photos I edited and selected 
from this walkabout are on Flickr and I'll leave a link to that below. Uh, I'm gonna share uh, five of the photos, the, my five favorites from the walk, uh, talk a little bit about them and uh, we'll get to that just now. So I, I thought I'd share a little bit about each of these photos, share the uh, settings uh, that were used to create them uh, and some of the thoughts about editing them as well. So here we go. So uh, this first photo is just pretty simple. Uh, a single leaf in the grass with some of the water drops around it. Um, camera down low, uh, creating that angle, that perspective that's different than normal standing height, just looking straight down up to it. For me, as I'm, I'm processing these photos in Lightroom, I'm also thinking about um, the mood, the tone, the overall vibe. And it was a quiet day. It's kind of a quiet season. It's moodier. It's it's sometimes darker, it's dreary. So I wanted to include that in the edit. So the photos are gonna be maybe a little more blue, less warm, a little darker, a little grittier. So that's the thoughts I had as I was editing. I wanted to go ahead and enrich that um, sense of mood in the photos that are present this time of year. Next, we have some uh, a trio of red maple leaves and uh, it's a different color. There's not a lot, there's just one single, in our neighborhood transplant of this this uh, red maples and uh, it sits across the street and uh, it had some water drops on it so just a simple photo uh, 80 millimeters you notice all these photos are going to be at 80 millimeters uh, most are at f4 as i'm getting into the using the extension tubes we'll move to f5.6 and 8 to get a little deeper depth of field and sharpness but ISO 800, which is not a problem in uh, for me as I use the Fuji X-T3. It performs really well as far as noise at that setting. So next, um, one of the things I enjoy whenever I can find it is when nature and man-made things intersect uh, and the juxtaposition of textures and colors and uh, uh, materials. So in this case, this single leaf uh, on the ground, on the asphalt in our parking lot uh, with the water. So it's it's really rich in color. It's moody, you can almost feel the wet. Uh, again, the camera's down really, really low, close to the leaf. Uh, I do have the extension tube on here, uh, tubes, both of them at this point. Uh, and I really like the shape of this leaf with the, the scalloped edges around the edge, as well as I like the, the stem, I kind of, it almost looks like a boat. Looks like a little boat on the water, which is the, the parking lot uh, asphalt. That's what I see. Your mileage may vary. This photo reminds me, because uh, I forget, even after as long as I've been doing this, as often as I t uh, encourage students to do this, move your feet, walk around your subject, find all the possibilities. Uh, when I first saw this leaf, I was around to the left side of the car. Uh, and uh, it looked great. I really liked the way it looked, but then as I walked to the right, walking around the car, I noticed it's the shape of a heart. So it's a nice little surprise when you move around. Make sure you explore all the options of uh, perspectives and angles. Uh, make sure you get the whole story of whatever subject you're photographing. I uh, do have the extension tubes on here um, at 5.6 to get a little extra sharpness and a little deeper depth of field because uh, when you're this close, which is about probably four to six inches from the subject, maybe eight, um, depth of field gets really, really shallow quickly. Um, this is sitting on the windshield of my car. And again, I love the juxtaposition of colors, of texture, uh, the raindrops uh, on there. Just all the things make for, I think, just a really neat little vignette, a neat little, especially here in the Northwest, this is a common scene this time of year leaves on your windshield. And then lastly, another photo here with the extension tubes. Um, I just love the texture on this leaf, uh, being able to get close enough to really capture it uh, at F8. So we're even uh, smaller aperture opening. So I need a little extra help from the ISO on this cloudy day. But uh, just look at all that texture there. And again, the processing in Lightroom is to enhance that moodiness. I brought out the texture and the clarity and dehaze to bring in um, all of that mood. Also accentuated, added a little bit of blue in the shadows in the in the um, color grading uh, area, just to give it a little extra something. So this walk around the neighborhood was a really powerful reminder of the benefit of getting up and moving, of 
taking the camera with to, and keeping it simple so that uh, there's less friction to creating photos to actually making something which is going to help both my mental mood and my physical feeling. So uh, I'm really glad I, I did that. I was kind of surprised how much time I spent walking around my car, but uh, that was kind of a, a pleasant surprise with all the leaves on the car. So I hope you found this maybe a little inspirational, a little informative, entertaining, as uh, I, I shared a walk around my neighborhood in uh, early autumn of 2021, uh, thinking about the ways the, that this season is different and how to photograph it differently, how to notice things differently, how to take advantage of the moods that the season provides. If you have uh, tips or suggestions, comments you'd like to make about uh, ways you create photos this time of year or as the seasons change, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation. So that means we're in the part of the video where I also say if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click, gently click the thumbs up button and that'll train the YouTube algorithm about videos that you find valuable and useful for your watching. As required by the fine print of the content creators and user YouTube license agreement, uh, I'm supposed to ask you now to subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos like this. So subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll get to see videos like this once a week. I hope you have a great time this season creating photos, finding different ways to create photos, different ways to express your feelings about this, this type of season. Uh, so be safe, have fun creating photos, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.